It's the systematic study of life on this planet. Systematic study of life. He's going, she's going to study ecology and it is about the systematic study of life on this planet. However, catalog and cattle in B are two sound alike expressions. And if you are just completely lost in general, you would have heard catalog and cattle, two sound alike words, boom, choose B, although B is wrong. A, it says it is a study of life of plants and it deals with life here on earth, which C is the answer. And so again, A, a little bit more, uh, A, again, you have to, obviously what I had already said um, about it consisting of everything in general, just not plants, but because she said catalog in you heard or probably have read cattle, you probably choose that. Now, if you didn't, very good. But I could tell you right now, the majority of my Thai students would have picked cattle and catalog more than likely. Now, again, being online, I don't have many TOEFL ITP students who are Thai, period. Okay, the majority of them are from Brazil and Mexico, Panama, uh, Saudi Arabia, Iraq. It's much, much easier for me to navigate because, again, they already have a very solid foundation of the English language. But here in Thailand, they could be lost and lost beyond. Okay, so again, you just got to keep on practicing. Let's keep this one going. And number of four, people. To take. Ooh, they can't leave until the rain is over. Their drain has stopped or sh he shouldn't board the train until it completely stops. Number four. Are you ready to go now, Janet? Ready to as go? As soon as the rain stops. As what soon as Jack the rain stops. Okay, he said, ready to go? She said, as soon as the rain stops. So as soon as the rain stops, she'll be ready to go. Now, it says they can't leave until the rain is over. A, I really love A. B, their drain stop. Now, rain, drain, if you got a little bit thrown off by that, B is absolutely incorrect, right? And it's not about the train. He said, are you ready to go? Not indicating whether or not they're taking a train, a car, a helicopter, a goddamn space shuttle. So that's why A would be the best answer, right? So again, that was a little bit more easier compared to number three but we're gonna keep it Tell running. The man. Number five, he offered his help to Darlene. He made an offer to Darlene's sister, or when Darlene was gone, he missed her. Here we Number go. five. I heard Darlene was having a hard time with her physics homework. Hard time Yes, but Sam has kindly offered to assist her. Okay, so Sam is going to help her, assist her, meaning help her. She was having a hard time with the physics homework. But luckily, Sam came da -da -da, to the rescue and said, I am going to help you, Darlene. Now, let's hear what the man says as a question. What does the woman say about Sam? Okay, so we got to hurry up and we got to make sure we listen to that question because I'm looking at it and it said he offered, he made, and I'm like, okay, what's going on here? I'm not exactly sure what the question is. So I hurry up. I heard the question and I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. This makes a lot of sense. So obviously, Sam ended up helping her. He offered his help to Darlene, okay? Not Darlene's sister, and Darlene was never gone, okay? She was just having a hard time with their physics homework, okay? So, but I can tell you right now, the sound alike expression that probably threw you off was a sister. You might have said, you might have heard sister. That's the problem. Or missed her. No, he said a sister. You see what I mean now? These are the sound alike expressions you're going to be encountering on the TOEFL ITP course. So next one, get a copy made, buy some cough drops, eat in the coffee shop. So drop shop more than likely. Number six. Number six. I need to get a quick bite before we go to the workshop. Quick bite. There's a coffee shop here in the hotel. What does the man suggest the woman do? Okay, she said I need to get a quick bite. The man says there's a coffee shop here in the hotel. Now, if you don't understand, oh, I need to get a quick bite. Now, you can only imagine. All right. Now, she can't obviously get a bite. It's an expression. It's an idiomatic expression, which we're going to be talking about in the next modules. But when she says get a quick bite, that means get something to eat. And he suggested to her inferring, hey, there's a coffee shop here. There's food there. Now, it, was, it had nothing to do with a copy being made. It had nothing to do with cough drops 
It had to do with her, the bite, meaning eats in the coffee shop. And that's what he suggested her to do. All right, we're gonna keep it going. We got six more questions. We're going all the way in this video. Number seven, he didn't hear what the woman said. He can lend the man a pen and see he had a pain behind his ear. All right. Number seven. How can I take notes if I don't have anything to write with? He doesn't have anything. You can probably borrow a pen from Gus. He always has one behind his ear. Ah, okay. You could, okay. The man doesn't have anything to write with. She says you could borrow one from Gus. He always has a pen behind the ear. Now, that could also be, um, oh my God, that could be an idiomatic expression. I forgot what it is. We're going to be talking about them coming up very, very soon. Uh, and I believe module uh, four, which is obviously going to be titled idiomatic expressions, if that's the one that you actually have a lot of difficulty with. But having a pen behind his ear, meaning he has a spare pen or pencil behind his ear. So it had nothing ear here, ear here. That's a sound alike expression that could have thrown you off. If you chose A, you got it wrong. Okay. And then obviously, what was the question? What does the woman say about Gus? Now, because I got the question, I can now answer B. He can lend the man a pen. Why? Because he always has a spare behind his ear. Now, one of the most difficult things ever is that C. He had a pain. Pen, pain, pen, pain, pen. If you did not differentiate between those signs, uh, you know, those uh, sounds, you would have more than likely picked C because after he had a pain behind his ear and you would have taken it word for word potentially just because it was said word for word. But did it have anything to do with someone being in pain behind the ear? No. And that's why you have to be very, very careful with this, as I've said and noted so many times already. Next one. The food in this town isn't very good. She needed boots when she left home. The flooding in her neighborhood was severe. All right. Number eight. Was the flood bad in your part of town? Flood. Bad. We practically needed boats to get home. <laughs> what does the woman imply? Okay, what does the woman imply? So the man asked her, was the flood bad? So we're talking about the flood, not the food. Flood, food, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Completely two different sounds, okay? Keep in mind. Now, so we can hurry up and get rid of A. But she said, bad? Oh, we practically needed boats. So you can imagine if a flood came and you need a boat, it was insane. So very similar to what happens out here in Thailand during the rainy season in the upper provinces and in Bangkok. A lot of places flooded this year. It's probably going to 